bit Tiffany from My Life in the Beehive and today I'm going to talk again about weight loss for my weight loss vlog. Um, so I'm totally hiding in my bedroom right now. That's why it looks so different in here. But um, for some reason, my daughter has school off today, the day after Martin Luther King Day. She had Martin Luther King Day off too, but she was also sick last uh, Thursday and Friday. So this is like day six of um, her being home. And it's driving me crazy. She needs to go back to school so bad. She's so bored. I don't blame her. I'm, I'm, but when you're sick, you're sick. She did get to go to the gym yesterday. So I just wanted to make this quick uh, vlog to kind of give an update. So I started Weight Watchers on Friday. So I guess I will do another video on Friday to tell you how my first week went. Um, so far, so good. I had my first session with my health coach. Her name is Felicia. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep her though. I mean, she's super nice and she's super knowledgeable, but I need somebody who has more um, nutrition um, knowledge because when I told her my main concern is not eating breakfast she said oh breakfast doesn't matter if you don't want to eat breakfast then that's fine um, and just from taking nutrition classes in the past I know for a fact breakfast is important so yeah but um, so far this week has been good on Friday I also joined the gym and I've been twice already. I went on Saturday and I went on Monday. Um, Monday was leg day. My legs are kind of feeling it. But so far the food has been okay. I haven't been hungry or anything like that. I've been eating a lot of Smarties to kind of uh, fill that sweet craving. One Smartie is one point. Love that one roll. Like the whole roll, not just like the little individual parts. So I've been really enjoying that. And then um, also if I need like something crunchy and, and sweet and things like that, I've been doing kettle corn. Because if you buy like the like 100 calorie packs, those are only four points. And I'm not even getting through my points to be honest. I have 30 points a week that I'm allotted. And it's kind of a cool system uh, based on what like Felicia told me. So this is just my understanding of it. Sorry, I had to push pause on my video because oh, the child has found me. So I had to help her out for a second because even though I my door is shut and it doesn't have a lock so she can come in anytime she wants. And yeah, that's my life. I keep telling myself that our next house is going to be a split floor plan with locks on the door and we get her and the dishwasher. It's gonna be amazing. A girl can dream, right? I love my house though, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, I digress. So basically, how I understand freestyle to work is um, I get a max points of 30 every, every day, and then I have an additional 40 points that so that it's like a cushion. So if I go over my points, it's not a big deal. Um, I don't get discouraged because I have these extra points that I can use. And then I also earn points. Um, my my fit, my watch is connected to the Weight Watchers app. So I've been getting active points and things like that, which has been really fun to see. Um, I got like 10 yesterday from the workout. So, and that's awesome. And then what also is really neat is... Last time I did this, they didn't do this, so this is, I really like it. Uh, if I don't use all my points, then up to four can roll over into my extra points to give me more cushion room so I can save points and do things like that. Like I'm gonna eat lunch here in a few, and I'm gonna have, um, I bought lettuce, so I could do lettuce wraps instead of using a tortilla. And uh, it's gonna be like three points. And that's for the salad dressing because I like Italian dressing on it. But it's going to have like onions, tomatoes, um, chicken, rotisserie, chicken breast, skinless. And then it's just like lettuce as like the carrier for it all. And I'll put some Italian in it and it'll taste good. 
So my, my first few days have been super easy. I only went over points one day and I went over by three. Um, all the other days I'm trying to at least have, um, not have over 10 points left. And that actually has been a struggle for me. Uh, like I said in my last video, I have a trouble with, um, eating enough food during the day. Um, I, I can binge eat, but it's actually kind of rare for me to binge eat because my stomach kind of hurts and things. Uh, the other thing that I've been doing is I bought some, uh, probiotics and digestive enzymes and I've been taking those because to help with the digestion because I get bloated really easily and I have um, mad heartburn so that's what I take for my heartburn and it's instead of having an antacid which can actually cause leaky gut syndrome and like all those other bad things like kidney stones oh I've heard I've heard horror stories um, I'm using papaya digestive enzymes and they're all natural so hopefully I won't have any of the adverse side effects but so far so good I feel strong and healthy and um oh I just realized I didn't put any makeup on this is me and yeah that's kind of how my week's going so far I'm gonna go back to the gym tonight my daughter has an activity with her church so I'm gonna drop her off and then I'm gonna go and get my cardio on and then tomorrow I'll do arms and Oh, heaven help me. So basically what my workout schedule is right now is cardio one day and then I'll mix cardio with strength training. So yesterday was legs and then tomorrow will be arms and then I'll do cardio and then the next day will be abs and then I'll have a day of rest on Sunday. So far that seems to work really well with me and then I figured after I lose like 20 pounds which might be like a few months from now I'm going to start taking the classes because um, I want to kind of keep up. I don't really care what people think about me, but I do care about what I think about myself. And I don't want to set myself up for failure. Uh, so yeah, so just trying to stay motivated, keep up on my emotional eating journal, which I have found a struggle. It has been nice though because um, since I work at Megan's school, that's my daughter, um, I had these last two days off too, so I've gotten to like sleep in and things. Um, I haven't really gotten stuff done around the house like I should, but, um, sometimes things get put on the back burner. Oh, the other exciting news is, is, um, we found a phenomenal deal on an Apple computer. So I got a new laptop. Uh, it's been great. I've been saving up for one and wanting a new one so that's all thanks to Etsy because I've been selling things on my store and oh I should do a haul because I just found all these vintage salt and stuff pepper shakers so look out for that in the upcoming weeks um, and then I'll also do another mini video like this on Friday because that's my weigh in day and I'll have a full week on the program and I have another session with my coach on Thursday and I'll let you know how that situation is going. She gave me really good advice. I'll just tell you what she said when I told her I was concerned about eating breakfast and things. Um, so I told her I was concerned about it and she gave me really sound advice. She said, okay, what she likes to do is take her zero point food and then add her points to it. So like eggs right now are zero point food. So I take the eggs and then maybe I'll add some, I usually like veggies with my eggs, but I, I'd add oil, um, some cheese maybe to get me that points. And like, you gotta remember, uh, I think it's like a one fourth cup of cheese. I usually use the string cheese because it's already pre-measured for me is three points. I haven't been able to find the Weight Watcher string. That's only worth one point. Do you know where to get Weight Watcher string? Does anybody know where to get it? Because I need to have it. All right, so I think, yeah, I think that's my update. Oh, but anyway, she told, so what she told me to do was um, take my points and add on it. So like if I had eggs for breakfast, eggs are zero points, and our eggs are super healthy because they come from our own chickens. So 
um, we we take our chicken eggs and then add the points into it. So maybe I'd add cheese, which could be three points. And then I add my, like if I made an omelet, so like mushrooms and spinach and onions. And then if I wanted, I can even add like two tablespoons of sour cream, which is like four points. Or I could do non-fat Greek yogurt, which, uh, no flavoring or sugar, added sugar, which is zero points and it tastes a lot like sour cream to me. So I could, there's just a lot of options I have. Um, I do feel like I have a lot more freedom. Like when I eat my Smartie as my treat, um, I'm not going, I'm not busting my diet because I know each Smartie is one point. Although if you put two together, it's three. So yeah, I don't know what's up with that. But I really like Smarties, so it's been really nice. So that's my update. And then on Friday, um, I'm going to weigh in. So you probably won't see that video until Saturday. I can do another video like this pretty quick. I don't know. We'll see. So Friday or Saturday, look for my results of week one. And I'll let you know about how much weight I've lost. I forgot to weigh my, or measure myself this week. So I think I'm going to measure myself. And then the week after, I'll have the... Um, results of like how many inches I've lost. Anyway, I need to keep going to the gym and being motivated. So what motivates you to go to the gym? I want to hear all about it in the comments. And thanks for listening to me ramble on about, yeah, my first few days in Weight Watchers freestyle. Um, I'm excited about the life changes. Anyway, um, I'm trying to be quiet since I'm hiding in my room, but I, she already knows now, so. Don't you ever think like when you're home with your kids for a few days or you hear of other moms whose kids are sick, you want to do that thing from, uh, you know, that movie. And there are, somebody's going to say it down here. Hunger Games. Yeah. Right. Anyway, I hope you guys are all successful on what you're doing and I'll talk to you later. Hey guys, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button and be sure to subscribe so you can see upcoming videos. Also, I want to hear from you. What keeps you motivated and going to the gym and staying on track on your diet? Leave me a comment below and don't forget to check out my blog, Twitter, and Instagram.